Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Okay, so the first question is, what is Docker? Okay, what is Docker? So, Docker is a platform which manages container. Manages container. Okay. So now, manage means what? Manage means you can create a container. You can start a container. You can stop the container. You can, you know, pause the container. You can, you know, kill the container. So these are the, you can remove the container. So these are the things you can do that. Okay. Using Docker, you can create a container. You can start the container. You can stop the container. You can pause the container, kill the container, remove the container. But the question is, okay, what is container then? What is container? So this question is very important for us. What is content? So standard definitions, if you want to recall that, it's a application app runtime environment. Okay. So it's a, that means it has an app. Container is running app. Container is running your app. So container is running app and it has app runtime environment and all resources okay this is probably you can put it in this way so container is a app is running your app what app so container can run your app like apache ubuntu fedora debian these all are app jenkins jira tomcat java python perl anything which you want to run anything you want to run so you can run using container anything so that's the app but what is a runtime environment and all resources this is a question what is it it has it has Sorry, spelling mistake here. It has all app runtime environment and all resources. So in order to understand this, you have to answer these questions actually. What are the resources? What are the resources? We need to run any applications. Okay, resources we need to run any applications. Forget about the container for time, time being. Just find out what are the resources you need to run any applications. So now let's find out. Here, MS Paint. So first thing which you need is kernel. Hardware, sorry. First thing we need a hardware. Okay. So hardware means your, it can be physical hardware, virtual hardware, anything. Okay. So this is the thing which you need to you need if you want to run any application you need a hardware after that what we need we need operating system on top of it we install the operating system correct so we install the operating system and operating system you have kernel okay and kernel, this is the important one. What is a kernel then? So here, if I write hardware, then software. In software, you need operating system first. In operating system, what you have kernel. Now, what is a kernel? So if I type in Google, what is kernel? See that for example. See, this is the definition of kernel. 
वॉट इज कर्नल सो कर्नल इज ए कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम यस दिस इज अ कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम यू राइट अ प्रोग्राम इन सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा ऑल दिस थिंग राइट पाइथन पर्ल सो कर्नल इज ऑल्सो कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम इज अ फाइल इज अ कोड रिटर्न इन सी ओके सो दैट इज योर कर्नल इट कैन बी विंडोज कर्नल सपरेट कर्नल और लाइन एक्स कर्नल दर इज अ टू कर्नल विच वी यूज ऑल द टाइम लाइन एक्स कर्नल पावर ऑल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइन एक्स लाइक सेंट ओ एस वन टू फेटोरा डेवियन एंड ऑल एंड विंडोज कर्नल पावर ऑल द विंडोज कर्नल विंडोज एप्लीकेशन लाइक विंडोज सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सो कर्नल इज अ प्रोग्राम इट्स ओके सो कर्नल इज अ प्रोग्राम now let's say kernel is a program so in a simple way computer program when you run one time think simple you get one one return one response actually correct but when you run multiple time when you run multiple time run n time you get n response simple concept so coming back to the question what are the resources we need to run any applications so here what happens in order to run applications see applications let me show you my in windows itself i'll show you so you will be more comfortable with it see here. look at this this is a windows machine you can correlate with the linux also so it's simple see here look at it very carefully so in order to run any applications in order to run any program these are the program this is one applications this is one application this is one applications so what we need so to run any application you need a pid see here unique pid we have okay each each you see that there is no application which is running without a pid look at this i am not to really start with this machine from 3 3 4 days so that is the reason the pid has reached to 33000 because every time short processes also it create a pid and move on so like that it will always start with the zero okay so here everything start with everything every see here firefox need 10188 pid so in in operating system what are the resources so here i write you need a one pid then what else you need you need one username you see that here you see hell lot of application is running but you don't see that any application which is running without a user look at this you see empty no sometimes system user sometime rajesh kumar user sometime local service user so here the question was what are the resources we need to run any app so we need a pid and we need a user also what else we need we need the cpu also see here and what we need we need a memory also okay so these are the things i gather from here apart from that what are the things we need so we need mount is equal to root file system see these applications let's say let's talk about the one applications which is this application ms update or whatsapp or firefox or any other applications it required certain file system to be there in the system right so you see that here if you go to the c drive these are the file system which is there okay which is called root file system this is c drive program files program files this is called root file system okay so 
if you want to install the Firefox, the certain file system has to be there. And that is there. See, your Firefox must be installed somewhere here. Or, or here. Here, Mozilla Firefox. These are the file system. Because this file need to be there. So then only this application will run, right? So it has to be installed somewhere. So where to store this file? So these files get stored in the root file system, which we call it technically mount also. Okay, let me show you the root file system for the Linux. Root file system, enter, go to the image, and see that this is the good image, I think. Have you seen this image, right? Have you experienced this Linux operating system? Start with Linux, then inside that we have so many folders and subfolders, I mean directory and subdirectory and file. These are the application which you use it. Cat, CP, Echo, Grab, these are the things. This is called root file system. It need to be there. So you see here, there's a one application which is CP. So CP is the inside the bin and bin inside the root. So in order to run application, you need a root file system. Okay. So you, you these are the resources which could identify. What else we need? So we need one more thing if you want to access the application. What? So we need a network also. Okay. Network is not needed when you don't want to access application from outside. But let's say Apache, Tomcat, web, web applications if you have, so you need a network also. So you can access from outside, otherwise you cannot access. So more or less what I understood, these are the resources you required. These are the resources which you require to run any application. So if, if someone will ask you, okay, uh, okay, so you, when someone will ask what is a container, so you can say container is running your app. Any kind of app you can run. So inside a container, it has all the required, all the required app runtime environment and all resources. When they ask what resources, so these are the resources needed for running any applications. Are you comfortable so far? Any questions? Yeah. Okay, good. So guys, you know what happens because in the hardware you have operating system and operating system has kernel. Kernel create this requirement, this resources. Yes, kernel only create. Just remember that kernel is nothing but a computer program. And I said very simple way. I'm putting in a very simple way, not complicating the very complicated computer word. If you run one time the kernel, you get one response. You run n time, you get n response. You know that. So in the kernel, some of the namespace we have. Namespace, now what is the namespace? So namespace is something like grouping of the code because kernel code is a very huge, right? <laughs> kernel code is very huge, right? Yeah, parts of kernel, like, you know. Yeah, parts of kernel. Added. So kernel has been divided into the multiple different different sections. So one we call it a namespace. Another we call it a C groups. Another we call it a capability. And many more. Now we say Rajesh, I want to know everything. So you know what, guys? From Monday onwards, in fact, Sunday night onwards, I am going to have dedicated sessions and on kernel only. If anyone find it interesting, I'll share my uh, this one blogs and all and everything and you can learn about the kernel more. OK, so I'm going to deep dive into kernel. So uh, what, what specifically in the Linux kernel is it? Linux kernel. Yeah. OK, so kernel has a multiple is a remember don't don't think too much It's a computer program. Simple. Multiple divisions are there. Namespace, we call it C groups, we call it capabilities, we call it like that. Now you say, Rajesh, what are the other things we have? So just put it in Google. No? Why to ask anyone and waste time of your precious one on waiting? Remember, DevOps teach you waste time should be avoided. So, kernel. 
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.